Good evening, ladies and gents, and welcome back to more Battletech. I'm Liz. Today I've decided that we are going to wait here for a little bit. We have some people out. Packer was, uh, we, we would have gone when Packer was done. We wouldn't have waited for Liz if, uh, if it weren't for the fact that they're so close to each other. But, um, yeah, no, Packer was out due to an event. Liz is out because she got hit pretty hard in that last mission. She actually got knocked down. She lost her leg. A hunchback uh, crested a ridge and hit her in the leg with an EC-20. All work orders are complete. Cool. And glitch we're waiting on as well. I'm going to wait here for a little bit. Uh, we didn't really have any contracts available. There was one here and there was one on Ryan's Reach. We could have gone somewhere else completely and looked for a non-Arano contract. But, I mean, we got lots of money. I'm okay with staying here, waiting for a financial report, waiting till everybody's back in action, and uh, taking on whatever's available then. I got no issue with that. We got the money. Everybody can have some shore leave, in a sense. What's this? Oh, Arcade. We need a Gamma Pod for that. Alright, and this one is a low-G pool, right? Also needs a Gamma Pod. We have access to the machine shop, which is relatively cheap. Let's go ahead and build that. There's another training module that also needs a Gamma Pod, and I think this med bay does too. Okay, so Gamma Pod, I guess, is the next upgrade. It's 2.2 uh, million. Well, we can afford it. We're, we're, uh, we're almost done with the Argo, guys. Feels really good to be almost done with the Argo. Also feels really scary to be almost done with the Argo because that means we're almost fully upgraded here. I was also kind of hoping that, like, you, you ended up with the Argo, which is awesome, but I was kind of expecting before we knew that we'd get this dropship and blah blah blah, that we'd start with this crappy Leopard and we could actually upgrade our dropship through different types of sphere dropships and aeroframe dropships and all that kind of stuff. But we just end up, you know, getting the Argo after a couple of missions. So, sorry, this is just a continuation of my sort of critiques. Not, not critiques. They're not even critiques. They're just criticisms of the game based off of, like, the video last time, remember? Everything's a little bit more expensive now. I haven't added another mech, but we have added different uh, components to the Argo. All right, everybody's back in it. We've got 22 days until the next financial report. Watch, we're going to get two financial reports without a single mission. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Okay, so we have Territorial Claims, which is a destroy base. We also still have Thorn in the side here on Ryan's Fate, which is an assassination on Ryan's Fate. I was really tempted to do this last time. I especially love how they have an atlas in the picture of it. God, if there was actually an atlas there that I could capture. Oh, 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 there won't be, though. A uh, pirate manufacturing facility on Itram is an illegal intrusion into our territory. So this is a base destruction in the desert, which is a little bit of a PITA, but I think we are going to negotiate this mission today. Yeah, let's do it. I want uh, three pieces of salvage, which is going to put us at 223,650. We got a little bit in our last mission as well. I mean, it's not enough to maintain us, but uh, if we can get a mech or two in salvage, because we got a lot that we're at two components of, um, then that pays for everything, right? That That's the way we get money. We just get a couple mechs. Or a really good name component that I can use, that'd be cool too. Okay, accept. Everybody's going in in their standard mechs. We do have the option of sending Packer in now. Um, do I want to send Packer in in the back? I know I've been using Corsair's Bulwark ability a lot. I really like having the dual Bulwark. Um, although Behemoth doesn't really need it lately because she sort of stays out of the line of fire. I mean, we could almost even switch Behemoth and Liz around. But I feel like Behemoth has 10 gunnery, so why? Having better tactics would be good, shooting that uh, Gauss rifle. But she's got 10 gunnery. Let's, let's keep her in there. Let's keep the people who can, you know, hit anything with uh, the weapons that we want to hit things. I mean, Liz got an AC-20, but it's, it's easy to hit things when you're right in front of them. So let's do it. Deploy. We like another cockpit that helps you ignore injuries. We'd give it to Liz, I think. Uh, the people who are up in the front at the moment. Like, Liz has plot armor, yes. Uh, she can't die, but I would still like her maybe to have that cockpit because if we could ignore an injury, that means we aren't out of battle for however long that injury would take us to recover from. All right, it's an illegal intrusion into our territory. It's also a pirate facility, so I'm kind of hoping that they're going to be a little bit weaker. Shoddy, ram well, they probably won't be ramshackle. Ramshackle's 25%, right? 
So probably like if if they are weaker, maybe they'll be seventy five or fifty percent. That'd be cool. That'd definitely be cool. Especially if they have a lot of vehicles. Your target is the nearby pirate base. Assault the base and destroy enough of it to force the pirates to abandon the location. Expect strong opposition. This so see, so bad, I do not have the luxury right? because, you know, we're a single lance of deploying a mech over here, a locust over here, and having it approach and just dance around and have all their people distracted by it the way that they can. I do not have the luxury of doing that. I have an assault lance that has to stick together because that's all we can do. We can only deploy one lance. Corsair. Ooh, that sucks. Corsair. That sucks. Corsair. That's better. Go here. Liz. Let's see what he sees. Nothing. Good. Liz, follow in. Behemoth. I'm really liking the look of this rock formation here. Let's have you go to it. On the move. Glitch. I'm really liking the look of this rock formation uh -huh. here. Let's have you go to it. Glitch having ball work might have been good too. I don't know what the ideal setup for... Um, ob obviously, yes, we want gunnery and we want tactics on Glitch, but I don't think we needed tactics. I don't think commander. we needed the sensor lock ability from tactics. I think we could have taken a different ability and then gone into tactics after that. So you don't really have cover on the approach until we get to here, which kind of sucks. I mean, we can move up this direction, which is technically a little bit closer, but uh, I think we're going to go for the four evasion. We have a lot of rock cover around here, and I'm thinking maybe we can take advantage of that. Okay, that's a turret, and that's all we see so far. Cool. Uh, we could actually make something happen with that. I could put Liz in position to see this turret, and then we could clear it out. I'm going to do it. Let's do five evasion. Liz, take a peek at the turret. It'll put us into combat. Because they'll see us as well. And now we have to go by initiative. This turret's all we see currently. Glitch, you could just kill it probably. It's a standard LRM turret. Yeah. As cool as it would be to have you wait for a mech to shoot at, let's just have you blow up this turret. Or just barely not blow up the turret. I should have uh, calculated that a little bit closer, but yes. Okay, whatever. Um, Liz. You can't shoot it currently. Corsair can shoot it by moving forward. Let's just go ahead and do that. We'll use lasers for this. Uh, we could reveal something else by doing this, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay, we got two mechs. They're behind a rock, so that's okay. We have no other turrets in vision at the moment. There could be one there. Uh, I guess there could be stuff over here. We don't have them in sensor range yet. Do they have a generator anywhere? These bases don't usually have a turret generator, but still, let's just double check. Nope, they just have structures. So we don't actually need a lot of firepower on this. I feel like shooting it with just the SRMs is more than enough. They have 95% and we only need one of the six SRMs to hit. So that's six tries. Excellent. We didn't need to waste the heat. Uh, we, we do have some decent heat management, but uh, wasting heat like that would just be silly, I think. Alright, so now... We want to be closer to use that AC-20. We also want to stay behind this rock for as long as we can. If they have PPCs, I mean, I think I just hit my mic, sorry. If they have PPCs, they can move this way and probably still shoot Liz, but if anything comes down this way, we want it to not be able to shoot. Also, if they have any auto cannon turrets here, if this rock is going to block it, I would love for that rock to block it. Behemoth. Waiting for orders. So the thing is, Behemoth. Oh, you can't go up there, can you? Not quite. Maybe on a future turn, but you can't quite get up there with the jump jets you have. That's a little unfortunate. We're gonna jump you to here, and we'll see. Maybe you could do it in a future turn. This rock might be in the way. But I, I was hoping if I could get right on top of this thing, then we could have actually shot right over the rock. Shooting over the rock. 
not 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 the dude, not the dude, the the, the actual rock sitting in front of us. Okay, we can see a shadow hawk. It had an obstructed shot on us. So this rock isn't blocking vision, but it is uh, at least causing a shot obstruction. There was an auto cannon and a few missiles. What is that? How heavy is that? It moved in the medium phase, yeah? Yeah. They have one thing moving in the light phase, but that moved in the medium phase. I'm, yeah, it definitely did. So an auto cannon and a missile. It's a shadow hawk. Good it's a go. shadow hawk, right? It's got to be a shadow hawk. Much like this shadow hawk. What's uh, the penalty for? Long range. You actually have a long range penalty. Okay. Well, you can uh, jump in just a smidge on closer then. I don't want you getting too close. See, from there, you have a bigger penalty. That's just absolutely annoying is what that is. We've got a better chance to shoot it when we have the long range penalty is what you're saying. Like obstructed shots don't matter for you. You have the missiles. I don't know what's going on with that. Well we've got 75s from where we're Standing and we're nice and out of everything else's range. I'm still okay to shoot this, I think. I mean, we have the ability to just reserve and have other people do stuff first, but I think I want to use Glitch to burn the evasion anyway. And if she can actually destabilize him, then we'll completely eradicate his evasion. Yeah, its evasion is all gone. Not just one, we burned everything. Alright, so next. We're not going to have cover. Orders. You have shot. You do have shot. Your large laser doesn't have a shot from here, though. You have a shot from down here, though. So that is not actually obstructing anything. The large laser still doesn't have a shot from there. You're so far away, you still don't have a shot with that. Wow. Well, we're going to knock him down, and then the two close-range people are going to come in and take uh, their free called shots. Do it. Roger that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, man, I, I don't envy that Shadowhawk taking this much punishment from downtown. All right, Corsair, you cannot get into range to use all of your weapons. You can see what this mech is. I mean, that's cool. What's that? Oh, that's a building. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you know what? Let's go here. I think I might use Vigilance on you. That is indeed a Shadowhawk. Cool. And a Jenner. I think I might use Vigilance on you here. You're going to get a free Precision Strike. So let's use Vigilance and we'll uh, do some surgery on the Shadowhawk. Oh, crap! I only had your missile selected. Oh. Liz, you idiot. Multiple PPCs. Where did that come from? A turret, yeah? A turret, yeah. Uh, that, that would have worked out a lot better if we had... Um, if we had uh, all of our weapons on. As it stands, Liz, it's kind of going to be up to you. Can you do it? Again, your left your left side is what we want to expose, yeah? Your right side is a side that, uh, yep. Well, we're going to take that called shot again. Okay, you did it. Would it be much better if you could have just vaporized this Jenner, though? I was really hoping you would have vaporized this Jenner after Corsair vaporized this, um... It was a Shadowhawk too, yeah, this first Shadowhawk. On the bright side, Corsair is the one who takes the uh, hurt for not having his weapons turned on. Sorry, Corsair. 
But it's okay. You're the person I wanted to get shot at. You got vigilance on. Cool. Also, as much as I hate to lose my bonus medium lasers, you've also got the weapons that are least painful to lose. So, that's a thing, too. Glitch. For orders. I'm gonna have you jump in, I think, and start taking some shots. Look at that. 65% on the Shadowhawk. 95% on the Jenner. Why? What's this as well? That's a standard LRM turret. So we got another turret we're going to have to deal with as well. Uh -huh. Go ahead and jump on in, Glitch. I'm, I'm, I'm going to check the shot on this uh, Shadowhawk. I want to see what the penalties are. Long range obstructed, target moved, target size plus one. Why does obstructed matter? You're shooting LRMs. I don't get it. Obstructed shouldn't matter. It should be indirect fire. Why are you getting why are you doing direct fire on people with your LRMs? Like here. Look. This has indirect fire plus 1. Why are you getting direct fire with them instead of just doing indirect? I don't get. Just shoot indirect. Done. was really hoping for a little bit more hurt on that Jenner. Um, we're going to have to spread the love here then. We're going to stay put and get our bulwark up, I think. You you need to attack. You need to attack and you need to probably multi-shot, actually. Hold on. Let's take a peek at this Jenner. Oh, crap. Yeah, see, we could really... We, we're, we're, we, we'll delete the Jenner if we do that. Um, if we multi-shot, though... And we have the ability to shoot this Shadowhawk as well as the Jenner. Problem is, I don't know how much it's going to take to kill the Jenner. Exactly. We can knock it down one way or the other. I think we're going to do a split like this. And watch, we're not going to kill either. Well, we're definitely not going to kill the Shadowhawk, but watch, we're not going to kill the Jenner. Let's put a little bit of heat on the Shadowhawk, though. Burn some of this evasion off. We got through to structure and something. That's great. Yeah, we didn't kill it. We knocked it down. We also blew a torso off, which is great. But um, the kill would be better. Not gonna lie. Liz can finish it, I suppose. We're getting sensor locked by a turret. Like, I wanted to maybe snipe this turret with Behemoth, though. The turret is still more dangerous than this Jenner is, though, isn't it? Oh god, yeah. So much more dangerous. We, we, could, we could go for the multi-shot. Our shot on the Jenner is 95. Our shot on this guy... Damn it! Go away. There we go. Our shot on this guy is non-existent. That's why it wouldn't. Uh, that's why it wouldn't turn. We can move and get a shot. Like even if we just do a rotation, we can't actually get. Oh, because this this is going to obstruct it, eh? Yeah. Okay. How about that? From here, we'll have an 80% on it, and we can finish this guy off with an SRM burst. I guess. It's not great. It's really not great. It also reveals another turret to us. So how much HP is this guy going to have? Well, he's got 35 in his center torso. So we're going to shoot both of the SRMs at him, I think. And we're still not going to kill him because, you know, I'm me. And why would I ever actually effectively kill a target when I can just toy with it for 16 million turns and then let him headbutt me and destroy my AC-20 or my Gauss rifle or something, right? Right? Engaging multiple targets. All right, so we miss. Great. And we're, we're not going to kill him either, are we? Okay, we, we got the Jenner, guys. We did it. Enemy mech destroyed. 
<sighs> Alright, so we're going to unload on this Shadowhawk with Behemoth, I believe. Especially since that missile launcher is already get, getting its shot. On the bright side, it is shooting Corsair, who is guarded and entrenched. Ready for orders. Behemoth. You got 85% because the shot is obstructed. That's not actually from your current location either. Okay, you don't have the laser from that location. If we move you to here, you get the laser as well. Okay, let's On do it. Way. I can't actually see these other turrets right now, so I can't shoot them at the moment, so we are going to go for the Shadowhawk with everything we've got. Full complement, take it down. Confirmed. We could have actually precision strike too if we wanted. Hey! Blowing up that left arm is cool. I mean, the left torso would be better. The left torso has the auto cannon in it. But, I mean, that's okay. Double PPCs, one of them hits Liz. Definitely appreciate misses. Not stripping armor, not blowing up my components. Those are good, especially since that right side is exposed there. I think he just hit the right. Really hard hit to do that, too. Alright. Good to go. Glitch. Oh good, it's in oh, it's it's a building. Long range target moved. At least we have indirect fire now. Um let's have you move in a little bit then. It, it's still gonna be indirect fire, right? Yeah, okay, good. You betcha! Like <laughs> That, that is mind-boggling, why the LRMs wouldn't just switch to indirect fire mode. Like, even if it has a direct line on them, do indirect fire mode. Just shoot it up into the air. Done. Treat it as if you can't see him. You're, you have somebody else spawning for you. It's not you spawning him, so... Use those sensors. SRM ammo explosion. SRM ammo when destroyed. You, torso destroyed. Like injury. Knockdown. That's another injury. He's still up, though. Great. He's pretty much a stick at this point, but he is still technically up. Yes, Commander. So uh, I'd really like for you to be able to blow something up. So to that end, I think what we're going to do is have Corsair move into here. It's going to give us vision on both of those turrets, as well as a shot on the turret and the, uh, the Shadowhawk. There's that strong opposition commander. Watch your position and don't get flanked. Yeah, I've, I've seen the opposition already. Is, is there more? Destroy enemy RNFs. Yes, there is more. Okay. So let's, let's clean this out while we can. What are these? This is a standard LRM turret. This was PPCs. I can't actually see. Oh, it was the building. I, oh, crap. I feel like there's something else back there, too. Uh, what's the Shadowhawk got? 90 HP still in its center torso. I think we're going to focus it. And what to turn off. We'll turn off one medium laser. We, we definitely want it dead. So yeah, Shadowhawk, go bye-bye. It's still at a lot of HP in its center torso. We didn't need all those weapons to do it. We could have turned off half of them, basically, and saved a bit of heat. But uh, it had a lot still. Okay, we get sensor locked. That's fine for now. Liz can actually shoot this turret this turn and maybe kill it. And if we could kill it, that'd be great. Can Liz shoot the other turret? Yeah, Liz can shoot this other turret as well. Let's go for it. I feel like I want to go for it. The reinforcements are coming. Oh, hold on. I don't want my right side exposed. So you know what, Liz? No, come back here. Uh, if I blow this one up, though, Behemoth can get the other one. Okay. Okay. We're going to do this. Liz, come to here. I'm slightly concerned about the RNFs blowing off our AC-20. They're still not in vision, though, so... Best possible opportunity so far. Yeah, this has an AC-20, SRM-2, SRM-2, Flamer, Flamer, Flamer. AC-20. Hate it. Blow it up. 
good. Good, good, good. We don't like those AC-20s around here. I only like AC-20s when they're on my mechs. I don't like them when... There's those double PPCs, both in a Corsair. So they still have another weapon out there. Behemoth, if you would please... Commander. Use your Gauss rifle and maybe your large laser... No, no, you're not going to get the large laser as well. Can you shoot it from here? No. If you would please then just move to this position and use your Gauss rifle and your LRMs to delete this turret. I would really Location like it if you could delete confirmed. this turret. Um, that's going to be a bit of a problem actually. Acknowledged. I mean that's 75 but it had 150 armor. You only have one LRM-20 behind you, so without that, uh, without that large laser, it's going to be a problem deleting this turret. <sighs> Head hit, injury ignored. Yes. Yes, yeah, so that was an auto cannon and some long-range missiles. Feels like another Shadow Hawk to me. They're really going ham on the Shadow Hawks here. I hear ya glitch. Okay, so here's the thing. This is still a thing. I'm, I'm gonna reserve you glitch. We're gonna take LRM fire into Corsair here. Don't knock down, don't knock down, don't knock down. Unsteady. Okay, good. Corsair. You're leg is in a bad way also your head is in a bad way you took a pretty bad cockpit shot there I am going to move you around this way and you're gonna finish this turret off I'm hoping the PPCs can't see you from here and uh, these guys are hopefully gonna get an indirect fire or they just can't shoot you or something well nothing's gonna be able to see you so they're gonna have to sensor lock you to do anything to you I think you could probably dump everything it's only got three or um, 10 HP so just the SRM sixes should be enough and you can basically just burn heat for a turn. Excellent. Liz, you're sort of stuck holding the fort on your own for a bit. I really don't like only having one brawler available. And where are those PPCs? Like, I should have vision out of all of that stuff. Alternatively, I can move out this way and start to engage them. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this. We still want to face that direction in general. Okay, there it is. We're not going to get vision on it, though, are we? Oh, we do. We just have vision of that. Excellent. That might actually be our rangefinder that found us vision of that thing. Uh, Liz, if that's the situation, then you should probably shoot a building. Yeah, let's shoot a building. Our objective here is to destroy buildings, after all, so uh, let's let's blow up a building while we're at it. We could have entrenched there, and entrenching probably would have, you know, saved us What's some up, uh, some heartache. But that's okay. That's okay. So I don't have any shot on that from here. Great. Hmm. Can I get a shot on that from anywhere I go? Yeah, I can jump to a position that would get a shot on that. And it would be a 95 with a Gauss rifle, and that's it. Can I get the LRMs on it too from anywhere? No, 95 with a Gauss rifle. What if we jump to here? No, 95 with a Gauss rifle. Okay, well, we're, we'll jump to here then. Okay. And we will, I guess, multi-target. Target 1 is going to be this here. Target 2 will be... this here? 
Okay, so we can't use the laser on anything. But that's fine. We'll shoot this large military building in the middle of the compound with our long range missiles. I'm okay with that. Firing on multiple enemies. Good. That I mean, it doesn't kill it, but it still burns enough into its armor that somebody else can kill it a lot easier. Maybe Glitch can even do it with a uh, spread fire, because Glitch isn't going to have shots Commander. on that mech either. So Glitch, let's have you advance. Oh no, you can't shoot that because you have long range missiles, the same thing that... Uh... Okay, from here you can, so we were only one tile away from being able to shoot that, so good. We'll jump. I'm okay with jumping. And tell me, what am I going to need to blow that up? I'm going to need um, 82 damage. Problem is, one rack does 80 damage if everything hits, so we're double racking this. We wouldn't have killed it on our own anyway. We would have needed something else to hit it, so... Well, a ghost rifle seems like it was a waste, as that something else, I mean... Let's use it, right? If we don't if we don't shoot our weapons, then they're totally useless. So let's let's use what we can when we can. Ooh, Shadowhawk. He's entrenched. And that's a hunchback. Also entrenched. Which uh which hunchback is that? That's a hunchback with an AC twenty. Okay. Be concerned is basically the lesson that I'm trying to give here. Uh so hunchback with an AC twenty who is entrenched, we will go for a single LRM-20 to his face and breach him. I would love to just blow up this AC-20 or its ammo. We're going to soften him up a bit here. Behemoth, Good to go. do you have the shot? Yeah, you can definitely get the shot at the very least from here. What is it? 80%. I feel like we can do better. We can get 90%. Can we do even better than that, though? I can get a 95% from here. Um, 95% expose your left arm, primarily. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So what we're going to do here is multi-shoot. We actually should have multi-targeted with Glitch as well, because we could have shot this Shadowhawk as well. We're going to multi-target. We're going to shoot the Hunchback with the Gauss Rifle. And we are going to shoot the Shadowhawk here with the LRM-20s. Both of them will breach. It'll burn the evasion off the Shadowhawk. Uh, it won't hit it with everything, but that's okay. And the Ghost Rifle for the Hunchback. Acknowledged. Oh, nice. If we hit that torso and knock it off, that's the ammo, remember. The one side is... the one torso is the autocannon, the other torso is the ammo for the autocannon. Not exactly the most uh, tactical use there. So this has an AC-20, just like the Hunchback does. I can breach the Hunchback. Do I have a shot from here? Like, can I actually calculate my... No. Um, we could go for three evasion. Have a shot on him. Would this be obstructed if he were to shoot back at me? That'd be interesting. Have an 80% from there. I mean, if we go for the precision shot, it's going to be maxed out. And we want them to hit our left again, right? Yeah, we do not want our right being hit. We want our left being hit. So if I do this, and I just sort of move like that, and I could take a precision shot at the hunchback and blow up either torso, basically. Either torso will do. I don't think we're actually going to blow up either of them with one AC-20. No, we're not. Nope. Definitely not. But... We can really put some hurt. Okay, good. Structure exposed. If we can get through that torso and blow it up, uh, then we're good. Corsair is not going to be able to do that, because Corsair can't get close enough to do that. So what should Corsair do? Corsair should stay the hell back, is what he should do. His head is really screwed. His leg is really screwed. I feel like he should just lay back and blow up a building. 
not not even moving would be great, but we are gonna move here. And we'll shoot this uh this weakened building. How much HP is it gonna need? It has 124, so that's one, two, three, four is a hundred and twenty-five. A little bit more for good measure, and the SRM sixes. We'll we'll just keep one medium laser turned off. Okay, do it. Good. Building destroyed. Two out of four. And enemy turn. So they are gonna jump. Sucks, but okay. It's fine, it's shooting our left side. The left side's the one we want them to hit. And we've got a lot of long range fire support. I'm a little afraid of the hunchback. Ooh, another mech. With some long range missiles. No auto cannon, no PPC, so it's it's probably a Vindicator or a Shadowhawk with a little baby long range missile rack, that LRM5, and this wall obstructed it. Glitch. What can I do for you? Your job, Glitch, is to finish off this hunchback. And I believe what we need to do here is actually multi target these two. You're going to shoot B into the Shadowhawk. You're going to shoot A into the Hunchback. Do we have a range penalty? We do. Okay, let's let's move in and do the same thing. We'll move into here and do the exact same Coordinates thing. Received. I need you to knock down this Hunchback or blow off its torso or something. I just, I just need you to be effective on this Hunchback is all that I need. That's that's not not a hell of a lot better, but whatever. Okay, fine, fine. Do it, please. Breach both of them. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Okay, that's a left arm destroyed and knocked down. It doesn't take out its torso, which kind of sucks. I was really hoping for that left torso kill. That would have been really sweet. So he's going to stand up and he's going to do something. Hopefully he's hurting and he doesn't want to use his autocannon, but he's probably going to use his autocannon. Yeah, he's coming closer. He's going to shoot Liz with the AC-20. Okay, don't hurt too bad. Structure exposed. Nothing fell off, though, which is really good. Really good. We got hit with an AC-20 and nothing fell off. Hey, it was our left arm as well, which is exactly what we wanted him to Standing shoot. By. Behemoth. Yeah, 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 Behemoth. We're not going to precision shot here, we're just going to shoot everything you got. Left torso destroyed. So we didn't get an ammo explosion, but by destroying that torso, his ammo was destroyed as well, so he's got no more ammo for that AC-20. So fantastic. Not taking AC-20 shots is a great way to prevent yourself from just dying. Um, you have a shot from here or you need to turn? You need to turn to get a shot from here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Go ahead, Corsair, turn. You can shoot this military building. You need 150, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, plus the SRM 6s for good measure. You aren't going to overheat. Do it. This will probably blow it up. We'd have to miss a lot for it not to. Cool. Should be able to walk over these things. Walking over them is the way to do it. Any, like, mech universe thing has ever taught you anything, walk on buildings. It's the only way to destroy them. Jeez. Alright, so. This guy behind us. We still want our left side facing these guys, though. That's the thing. But we should move. If we don't move, we have to Vigilance this turn. This Hunchback's done. Even if we move, we should probably Vigilance this turn, right? We can move here, get our left side facing still. Burn, eva uh, burn um, instability, get a bit of evasion. We're probably still going to be Vigilancing this turn. We still want them to hit this left side. Our SRMs are on that torso, but I mean, we've got a lot of armor on that torso still. 
So his center is still pretty strong. He's got small laser and medium laser. He technically has the auto cannon, he just doesn't have any ammo for it anymore. I feel like I want to vigilance, confirm, and then we are going to go for the full out attack on this Shadow Hawk. Like everything we got. Blow it up. Cool. Right torso destroyed. That's not the side that has his auto cannon, unfortunately. But we do knock him down. Excellent. And we have to weather another round from these guys. I mean, of course, there was in here firing. We'd be in a better position. But uh, we probably would have cleaned both of these guys up by now. But we have to do what we can do, right? We're going to get some LRM5s. Shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, our arm is very weak, though. Okay, we're good. Remember, we were vigilanced, so... How much uh, does that arm have? 20 HP. Yeah, it's really weak. I, I'm not going to know what that is for a little while. Let's come up here. Liz, push it. What's the odds that I can just delete both of these guys without... Uh, with just glitch. It could happen, right? I mean, they still have the Shadowhawk. The Shadowhawk gets to move still. So all I really need to do is delete the Shadowhawk. Sorry, is it the Hunchback or the Shadowhawk? It's the Shadowhawk. It gets to move still. Okay. So that's really all I need to delete here. And Glitch can do that. I hear ya. It's on the ground, I get a called shot on it, it has 57 in its torso, we've got 90% because of called shot mastery. Yeah, okay. We probably shouldn't have shot both racks of missiles, that was a mistake, but we definitely sent our torso in. God, I love Glitch. Glitch is awesome. And that removes his ability to act this turn, because he would have acted otherwise. We can get a shot on the Hunchback from here, so let's do that. I'd rather not lose the left arm if we can avoid losing it, but if we have to lose something, that left arm is the first thing we want to lose. Um, you can get a call shot on this Hunchback, center torso. He is actually entrenched though, so it's 100 HP. I can do 110 to him if you hit. Do it. Engaging target. Nice. Two mediums fall in basically the same position. Up, Behemoth can shoot this last building. Um, we're not going to be doing much else, so yeah, let's jump. Let's jump to somewhere where I can move afterwards, and we will uh, blow up this last building. Or probably not blow it up. It probably has like 200 and something HP because it's one of the big ones. But we have no heat. We still have 10 Gauss rifle shots. Oh, it only has 100. Yeah, we could totally Taking blow this up. Do it. Goodbye, pirate facility. I meet you at the LZ. So now we could extract. And you know, that that's a thing we could do. But uh, we could also... The extraction point is where... Oh, that's the reinforcements, never mind. The extraction point is past the reinforcements. If we came in here with light mechs, we could have maybe like stormed in, ran past with lots of evasion, let their mechs shoot at us, blow up the buildings, jumped out, and got into the LZ before anything actually happened, but, uh, you know, whatevs. I don't have any long-range missiles on Corsair, and I would really rather not eat a shot to the head, so we're going to wait for them to round the corner. They'll probably take shots at Liz, and yeah. Maybe they won't even make it. No, he doesn't even make it around the corner. Okay, then Glitch, you're going to reserve. Liz... I think we might be able to kill this guy. Maybe not. But let's find out. Liz, move in. It, it's a Shadowhawk or a Vindicator. I'm pretty sure of that. And it is a Vindicator. Okay, cool. So I have a breaching shot on this guy. With my AC 20s. Um, his PPC is going to have a relatively poor chance to hit me from here, so his medium laser is probably his best thing. 
We do want a breach, though. So let's do that. Structure exposed on something. Looks like a leg. Glitch. Go. I'm going to have you follow up with some long-range missiles. You only need to shoot one rack at this. Because, again, score. we need to uh, breach him. So, yeah, we're not going to kill it this turn. Because Behemoth's not... Well, Behemoth will be able to shoot missiles at it. So that's something. Got it. Ooh, yeah, we did send a torso. We could kill it. If we get really lucky with our missiles on center torso, we could kill this guy. Want some more, huh? Excuse me while I kill this guy. Orders. Behemoth, are you going to get anything but missiles? No, not from any position possible. So, wait, what? Oh, that's the wall. Oh, you could shoot the wall, I suppose. But uh, no, we'll go here. I'm going to check out how much HP he has in center torso. We'll breach with our LRM-20s. And we might actually... If, let, let's just go with Precision Strike, first of all. 14 HP. Only 9% to hit Center Torso, but we only need to hit it with... Well, actually a whole bunch of them. Yeah, we're not going to kill this guy. We did knock him down, though, which is good. Knocking him down means that Glitch will act in the same phase, but I think he's still going to act before Glitch does. Uh, Corsair. Chill. <laughs> that, that's all I can say for you to do right now. Oh no, Glitch is going to act first. You, okay, he's dead. He's totally dead. He's totally, completely, and unequivocally dead. Goodbye, Vindicator. Say goodbye to your torso. And stay down! I, I wanted to prevent it from taking Liz's arm off. Liz would have been fine, but I'd rather not lose an arm if we can avoid it. The area is clear. We have the green light to land. Cool. Awesome sauce. We can probably make a bunch of... I imagine... Like, we've been seeing so many Shadowhawks and Vindicators lately, we could probably salvage some mechs and put something together and sell it. We made 324 for the mission. Took a little bit of damage we'll have to repair, but it wasn't bad. When our big assaults move in there and there are so many people shoot oh yeah, okay. There's a Jenner. We can finish that hunchback. So yeah, I can finish some mechs. There's a plus three melee hit gyro. And nothing else of interest. No other salvage of interest. So yeah, we're gonna finish a hunchback. We're gonna finish a Jenner. And I really don't... Well, let's take an AC-20. I could take one piece of Shadowhawk and maybe we get lucky with more of them and we can finish it. Well, we got another Shadowhawk. Okay, so we've got two components from it. And basically nothing else of value. Cool. I'll, I'll, sell, uh, I'll sell two mechs, guys. So yeah, we're going to make some extra money from that too. So that's great. I'm, I'm all for that. Also, are we going to get access to the priority mission from that? Because uh, that's the last contract on this planet for the time being. If we don't have access to the priority mission, I guess we're going to Ryan's fate. Okay. Yeah, we can repel the Taurian assault on Panzer. Is ready for review. We're going back to Panzer, are we? That mech you asked for. That mech you wanted... Remember when we had uh, our uh, first Jenner and it was really good for us for a little while? That light mech was a medium mech's uh, arsenal, basically. Yeah, yeah. Do I still have mechs in storage? I should probably get rid of any if I do. Jenner, we're going to go ahead and scrap you. 264,000, not a ton, but still good. And the Hunchback. Yeah, this is an AC-20 Hunchback. Nice. Let's scrap it. 328,000. We always want to make sure we're not accidentally scrapping the wrong mech. Victor. We're going to repair the Victor. I don't really have anything else I want to put on it. I have some awesome SRM4s. I have an awesome AC-20. I could actually put right. on some energy straight. weapons and... Uh, a support weapon on the Victor, like two medium lasers and a small laser, for example. I have to take some armor off to do that, and the heat would be a little bit different. We could maybe look into jump jets in the future. 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, I feel like the Battlemaster having jump jets would be better, though. But again, we'll we'll see. I, I looked into doing it, and we had to make sacrifices that I'm not prepared to make right now in order to do that. So maybe in the future, but not right now. I feel like these two support points could maybe be better fit with machine guns with plus crit on them. Because, you know, this next point is like to get in there and crit all the components and get ammo explosions and all that good stuff. But, uh, okay, whatever. And our mech warriors. Waiting Behemoth. For yeah, we're getting you tactics, right? So let's do that. That's going to get you a called shot bonus. Excellent. Corsair. Uh, we should probably finish your guts glitch. We're going for tactics on you, Liz. I, I keep forgetting what we're doing on Liz. I guess we'll do gunnery since I have access to it. Sure. Training complete. And Packer, we still aren't taking you out, not at the moment. Okay, so. Let's see what else is available real quick in contracts. Okay, there is another mission here, 1.1209 million, 3 out of 14 maximum potential salvage. It's a battle in the tundra. I feel like that's a really good mission to take. Defensive Panzer is again just a three skull. I, I was really disappointed after that last uh, mission. Intel suggests that a balanced lance composition with both high durability damage dealers and high maneuverability scouts would do well on this drop. Further details will be provided on your arrival. Well, I have the high durability damage dealers and I have some scouting ability with that, but that's like sort of the, uh, remember the Griffin, the Starly Griffin that we had when we uh, did the Star League uh, equipment recovery mission? where we had the Atlas and the Highlander, the Black Knight, and the Starly Gera Griffin. That was sort of the Griffin. It was just jump jetting and sniping, jump jetting and sniping, and trying not to die. A favor to regret, to regret is on Ryan's fate. It's a battle. Thorn in the side is that assassination on Ryan's fate. We might do settling a grudge. It's a battle in the tundra. That's a really cool mission. We had to wait for like a lot at the start of this uh, video though. So let's take a peek at the store. Because things might be different, you never know. I believe that's been there for quite a while. This has been there for a while, and it's it's really good. I don't know if I need another LRM-20 with crit and stab at the moment, but I might need it in the long run. You know what, let's buy it. That That's just really good. Crit new and stab is awesome. Available. Yeah, so there's nothing new in this store. We waited for like 20 something days and there's nothing new in the store, so fine. Um, okay, I think with that, it's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Next time, I think we're probably going to do Settling a Grudge. And then we'll go to Defense Panzer. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.